Hi there, so here I am in the studio and I want to have a look at working on this and this is like that big old bit of uh, reclaimed tent canvas that I got from a military surplus store and in the previous video and I'll put a link up here to that one uh, I was doing a little bit of an experiment with it to make sure that the paint would stick to it and it seemed pretty good now I'm going to see if I can move that on get this to a situation where I can actually do some painting on it so what I thought I'd do because it's I got all this interesting uh, stuff to kind of eyelets and bits of string and things hanging off it. I just kind of find it all really quite interesting. So I want to try and retain as much of that as possible if I can. But I also need to be able to paint on it. So I want to get some sort of rigid surface to work on. And I've got this um, painting here, which is kind of half finished and not really going anywhere at the moment, but it's on board. So it's quite a large board. It's like, uh, what is it, about four foot square. So what I thought I would do is cut the canvas down so that I can kind of mount it onto this board because, um, you know, like I said, I need a rigid surface so I can work on it, but I don't really want to stretch it over a normal stretcher because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with it yet. I'm not sure how much of this kind of stuff I'm going to keep and how much I'm going to lose. So I'm going to mount it to this rather than stretch it over it so this is a bit of an experiment for me because i don't usually work on this sort of thing so but it just looks like a load of fun i saw this thing in the uh in the store and i just thought you know i want to have a go with that and i've worked on uh different kind of reclaimed materials in the past you know bits of driftwood and things like that and it's just it's just a really interesting thing to do it's uh it's a lot of fun and it's an interesting surface to work with and it has Kind of ready-made interest kind of built into it and it gives me something to react to so i'm gonna have a play around with that i'm gonna cut this down and see how i'm gonna mount it to this board so i can actually work with it and get it on the wall and i can maybe move it and put it on the floor i want to be able to make it portable so yeah i'm gonna cut it down have a go see what happens so just move this out of the way just for a minute And I think what I'll do is I'll stick it on the floor. It's probably the best way of doing this. Okay, so I think I'm going to do is just lay this down flat on the floor. But I want a bit of an overlap here because I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with it. And I want to make sure that I've got plenty of room to adjust the shape or whatever stretcher I end up putting it on. That'll probably do. I'm just going to cut round about here just to give it enough overlap that I can uh, mount it to this board. And like I said, it's, it's quite a good board to work on because it will give me uh, a nice rigid surface. I'm just going to give myself a bit of a guide. This doesn't have to be too accurate. So I just said so that when I'm cutting it down, I know what I'm doing. That should be about right. Okay, well, that's a bit more manageable now, isn't it? But uh, yeah, it's all this, uh, all these interesting little eyelets and bits of string and overlaps and stitching and this, uh, it just looks like fun. Yeah, so obviously this is a little bit more manageable now. It's uh, on this board. I'm going to see if I can, um, mount it on there like i said i don't really want to properly stretch it onto this board because um i want to be able to take it off maybe i'm not sure i'm just not 100 percent sure i maybe want to put it onto a proper stretcher i just want to have a little play around with it and i think i want to leave my options kind of open at the moment so 
I think having it kind of loosely stretched onto this board would just give me the opportunity to have a play around with it and work on it, but without it being kind of fixed permanently. So uh, just want to keep my options open a bit, I think. Yeah, so what I think I'm going to try and do is, I've got my staple gun, and I'm going to kind of tack it onto the, onto the surface of this board. But it's got this, I hope you can see it all right, it's got this kind of doubled over piece here where, uh, you know, it's part of the tent design. So what I'm thinking is I might try and kind of tack this back piece onto the, onto the board and just see, you know, maybe just leave this hanging loose, see how that works out, or maybe the other way. Let's have a look. Maybe like that, and then I can leave these eyelets to have a fiddle with those. Let's see what happens. I think I need to tack it on so I can hold it, give myself another hand. As you may know, my next online workshop is coming up in a few weeks and there's still time to join. So if you want to do that, if you want to find out how to go from absolutely nothing, start with nothing, get outside, do a bit of sketching, bring it back to the studio, have a really good play around with it on board and canvas or whatever you want to work on. Even better, if you're on my membership group, you can get 20% off the price of the workshop. You can join it for absolutely free and there's no tie in period and you can still get the discount. So if you're interested in any of that, please do check out the link that's here on the screen. Let's, uh, let's just stretch it across as if it was an actual stretcher. Otherwise I feel like it's all just gonna fall off. Let's pull that one out. Those first ones I was just kind of tacking it in place to, um, to just kind of hold it up to, <laughs> so I could see what was gonna happen. I don't really feel like I need to be too uh, careful with this because like I said I'm pro you know, probably going to be taking this off. Right, let's, uh, well I've got one edge on, <laughs> it's kind of just sort of held in place at the moment so let's, uh, let's see if I can flip it over because this, this edge here isn't uh, quite as interesting. This is where I cut it. So maybe I'm not too worried about this bit. So uh, let's just pull that over that way. But maybe what I'll do is I'll just put these bits on loosely and then put it on the wall to see what, I, see what I've got. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it's always fun going through uh, a kind of process, doing things that you've never done before, but uh, filming it at the same time and then showing people. So <laughs> I hope it's entertaining for you because uh, as you can probably tell, I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. So. But I think that's okay. Got to try different things out, haven't you? All right, let's stick it on the wall, see how far we've got. Yeah, so up on the, the wall like this, uh, the way I've tacked this around there, that doesn't really work, does it? Because um, I've got this kind of weird edge here, with this other bit kind of flopping down. And actually looking at it and seeing these pieces kind of sticking out, I, I think I quite like that. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tack it on maybe down here. So let's, let's lose those staples. We can pull those out, the ones that are down there. So actually looking at that, so looking at that now without those uh, staples on there, making that really solid edge on the bottom, I quite like the way it's kind of hanging down. And I think she think I could probably paint on it like this. I think it might be better because I quite like these bits, the way they're sort of sticking out the sides and there's a nice seam down here, which I'm finding quite interesting as well. So I think I might, I might just put, add a few more staples up here to make sure it doesn't fall off while I'm painting on it. And then, uh, yeah, and then just start working on it. But I need to seal it. I haven't sealed the canvas yet. I'm going to give it a good scrub and seal it as well. But I quite like the, uh, all the marks that are on it at the moment as well, because it's, um, it's got all these kind of stains on it at the moment. 
I mean, I really like all that up there, because you know that. <laughs> I've said that, but it's got all these kind of weird stains on it as well, like rusty, rusty stains. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep any of that or work with it somehow. But like I say, it's got this quite interesting seam down the bottom. It's just a bit different. It feels a little bit more like working on a piece of paper or something like that, where it's very flexible and uh, the surface isn't necessarily that even. And I think when you're working on uh, ready-made canvases, things that you've bought, things that are uh, very neat and tidy. Sometimes I feel that that can be a little bit restrictive because you kind of feel like you're, you're always working up to the edge and you're gonna get to keep a nice neat edge. And when you're working on paper, it's a little bit more flexible. And actually, I think this has that kind of feel about it. So yeah, I think it could be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going at this over the next few videos. The next thing I need to do really is prime the surface so that the paint will actually stick to it and I'll start working on it. So I'll have a look at that and I might give it a scrub down as well, get some of the grot off it. But I don't wanna ruin any of the uh, natural patina that it's already got on it, but um, I better not worry too much about that. Otherwise my painting will get really tight. If I'm worrying about uh, keeping things that are on here already, I'll start getting a bit too uh, precious about things. So I'm not gonna do that too much. So we'll just have to see what happens. So I hope you enjoy watching that one. I hope you enjoy watching the ones that are coming up and don't forget about the workshop membership group and all that exciting stuff that you can do. Okay, I'll see you soon.